Hey there, welcome back. It's Brittany and I'm back with a um, finished jewelry update. But first I wanted to say uh, one of my subscribers, Melanie, asked to see this on me. Um, I showed you this in my last jewelry, finished jewelry update. It had um, the pendant feet, um, from Christine Whitestyle and um, I posted that picture on my Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, check it out there and there's a link below for my Instagram page. Um, so most of the things I'm going to show you are featuring Christine White style beads um, that I've purchased from them or that they sent me. However, there are, I think, two pieces that really aren't focusing on the jewelry, or I'm sorry, the beads I got from them. Uh, let me show you. This is from their, Emp I, I want to say it's Empress bracelet kit that they sent me. Um, so I made a quick pair of memory wire earrings featuring the tiger's eye um i can't remember the name of this uh gemstone some black crystal crystal beads that look like spinel to me and some spacers and then here's the memory wire bracelet i made using their kit it's so pretty and classy and neutral and it's just wonderful i used um, the bone and brass beads very sparingly on here because i was using them in other projects um, it really puts the tiger's eye um, in the spotlight on the, in this bracelet and the tiger's eye that they sent is super high quality. It's just so beautiful and it flashes and each piece is just gorgeous. So um, yeah, I will be wearing this and actually I have another tiger's eye bracelet, memory wire bracelet that this would go really well with. So um, definitely right up my alley and I love brown and black together. So there's that kit. I'm probably going to send these earrings to a friend or donate them. I'm not sure because I, you guys know that I don't really wear earrings other than my studs. Um, they're just too heavy on my ears and they cause problems. So um, yeah, it's unfortunate because I love these earrings. <laughs> But there's that first set. And then let's see. Oh, this bracelet is not feature does not feature any jewelry from or beads from Christine White style, but um, it's it's so much fun. So I as you all know, I love African beads and I did two unboxing videos a while back. Um, I'm probably going to place another order soon, um, but I'm going to use I'm going to use a different company. So I think I'm probably going to do that in the next week or so, um, and I can't wait to show you guys the company that I found. But um, these were all extras that Bobby Doe had sent with my order. So they sent like a little baggie of beads, um, very small, smaller than this baggie really. And I had two orders, and um, I kind of just put the two baggies of beads in a little dish. Um, and I set it on my desk. Uh, I'm working from home temporarily. And I set it on my desk and I play with them all day while I'm in meetings, while I'm uh, like working. I just, they're kind of, they calm me down and I use them as kind of like worry stones. And during one of the meetings, I was sorting them and I noticed that there were a lot of yellows and greens. And I was like, oh, these actually look really good together. So what I did was put them all on a piece of leather. I used, oh, there's a little hair in there. Um, I think I used, yeah, uh, a barrel knot, and I used the Gypsy Sippa color, so it's black and brown leather, um, from Bracelet Street USA, and then this clasp came from uh, Bargain B Box Bargains, the website. So yeah, I got to use all these fantastic beads, and they didn't. I mean, they didn't cost me anything because they were extras in the the bag that you get from every with every order. So it was just so much fun that there ended up being a bunch of green and yellow. And this is such a perfect stacker. Um, I actually put it on with some um, coordinating bracelets, and it just looked really awesome together. So yeah, I'm gonna start doing that. Just I like creating my own um, bead soups too, so I might make some African bead soups and kind of just play around that way. Um, in my last video, my last updated, uh, finished jewelry update, I showed you guys these bracelets. So I made a matching necklace because I was obsessed with the, this color palette. Um, and so the funny thing was after I finished making this bracelet, I realized that I had beads like these green ones in my kit from Christine White style. So, um, I don't know if, I think I used them all up. 
yeah I did they were so I made this matching necklace and let me tell you I am pumped I'm so excited to wear this necklace I cannot wait so um, these were the beads that came in the um, Christine White style kit it was, she had a, an African necklace kit and um, all the link I'm gonna put all the links to those kits that I used here um, below uh, this I believe came from one of the extra mixes from Bobby Doe or a bead strand that I bought from them I know it came from Bobby Doe these hematite beads are from Christine White style these wood beads are from Christine White style um, these are from Tucson and then these are from Bobby Doe so I, it just really worked really well to create this beautiful set and I am so excited and the funny thing is this necklace kind of reminds me of something my grandmother would have worn and she she was really fashionable um, my grandma Myrtle and she wore she was always prim and proper whenever I saw her always had a necklace always had her jewelry her hair done her nails done everything and she was um, just I miss her a lot <laughs> and so uh, this reminds me a lot of the necklaces that I inherited from her and that she wore in the 80s so or 70s and 80s and this kind of just looks so vintage to me and I just feel like um, I'm gonna carry a piece of her with me everywhere I go when I wear this necklace it's just so much fun um, okay so that was that and then I made this necklace and I'm actually it's it's really um, growing on me I like it because it's, you know it's some of my favorite charms that I used on here so let me lay it out for you because it's not looking so hot just <laughs> uh, right off the bat but it's oh my gosh okay so it looks really cute in the camera like that but um, so I bought these I think I can't remember if these charms are from either beadbox bargains or from a Chinese um, seller from AliExpress, like came from China. Um, so it's either one or the other, and I can't remember which. But um, either way, I know I've seen a ton of Monstera charms on um, beadbox bargains, so you can usually find something like that, and there are tons of them on Etsy too. So then I used these Christine White Style um, African beads, and then these were also in that necklace making kit from Christine White Style, and I think this chain is from a necklace from Hobby Lobby. So it's just really, really fun, really tropical, really um, jungle nature-esque, and then I made this matching um, starch bracelet. So here we go. It's got a Monstera. I used some Druzies. I actually don't know if these are real Druzy or fake Druzy. I think I got those from Beadbox Bargains. Uh, Christine White style all the way through. So I just thought this was such an amazing, fun little set. And these, I made sure that these would lay the right way on my neck. So let me know what you guys think about this one. And then um let's what else do we have so oh this one's a cute little cute little guy um i'm not sure i don't think i have anything to match it like bracelet wise but i'm going to be using this as a stacker so this is this is to fall right below my collarbones so um i'll show you i want to show you what it looks like here but um these are the polymer clay uh high sheet beads these are some step these are spacer beads from Christine White Style. And then I made this pendant using my polymer clay hammer and metal technique. Please check out the um, tutorial I've done on that. So I did it with um, silver instead of gold. I know you guys have only seen the gold ones from me so far. So then I beaded some wire with the Heishi beads and the silver spacer beads, and then I put it on some chain. Um, so it's adjustable. I think this is gonna be so cute for summer. Of course, I'm not really going anywhere yet, but um, these are really fun. I, I would stack this with a long, either long turquoise necklace or um, a long silver necklace or, or both, but it's just a really cute, um, really cute focal accident, accented by awesome beads. Um, I love this color. You guys know I love turquoise. And the fun thing is, honestly, looking in the camera, I can't tell that this is polymer clay 
when I'm, I have it in my hands, I can't tell that it's polymer, polymer clay. It looks like a hammered metal um, piece for pennies on the dollar because I made it myself. So check out that tutorial if you're at all interested in learning about polymer clay or doing this technique. I have tons of other um, pendants that I've been making using that technique too. And then, oh, here is, I showed you in my, my consumer crafts ha uh, haul video, I made a beaded pen. This one was like the, the only one I've made so far and it was really just a trial. I used all Jess Jesse James beads um, and made this awesome teal pen. Uh, I used a big boy crystal, a couple boho beads, and then a resin um, splotchy painted bead. So let me uh, get that in the camera there. Isn't that cute? And then you just twist and I've been using it at my desk and it's fun. Um, it's like my worry stones. I twist these around all day. <laughs> like I'm just playing with it. Um, and it's kind of heavy. It's top heavy, but that's too exp expensive. These are very lightweight pens, but they're fun to write with. They write, with, they write really well. Um, and I think they're pretty cool. I'm excited that I have more to make and I'm going to personalize them. I think you could do a lot with these. You could put some chain like right here and then, um, you know, kind of put it in between the beads or you can wire wrap in there. There's a lot I can do. I kind of just grabbed four beads and slammed them on here and I still like the way it looks too. So a um, little bit of effort for a lot of payoff. And then this I think is my favorite. Oh, nope. I have another one. I made this quick bracelet. I don't have anything to match it yet. Um, I am working on a necklace using these beads and these beads. However, it probably, well, it might go with this. There is this accent color in it. Um, however, I messed up my pendant, so I have to make another one. And I'm waiting on um, something to be shipped to me. Uh, I need more clay and I need um, some more resin. So um, that's not gonna be finished for a while. But once I finish that necklace, I will come back with this bracelet and show you guys. I think this is so fun. It's such a big pop of color with colors you aren't really expecting. I was like a little nervous on using these pink beads when I saw them, but with this royal blue and the red and the turquoise and the gold, I think they really mesh well to make a fun, funky bracelet. So there's that one. And then here's my favorite piece. Um, so story behind this, I. Didn't know what to, sorry, move the camera. Didn't know what to do with that beetle pendant that I showed you in my last Christine White style um, haul. So I made a pendant to go with it, um, a Zuni bear. And I am so in love with this little bear and, and this pendant together that I really only put it on leather because I didn't want to detract from the stunning beauty that is the pendant mixed with my artisan bead that I made. So I put it on the Gypsy, Gypsy Sippa colored um, leather and I'm quickly running out of this. This I think is the one of my favorite, one of my absolute favorites from Bracelet Street USA. It's distressed, it's two colors. Um, I made it a very long necklace and I did it this way for two reasons. Um, I really want to showcase how absolutely stunning these two look together, but I also um, wanted it to be removable and little impact to the leather itself. So I can cut this right here and right here, and then I have magically have my pendants back um, and I'm able to do more with them. And then I can cut, uh, you know, keep the clasp on the back or, and I can, you know, start using this leather for something else. Um, and then I can move on and bead these separately or together if I make up my mind and want to do something different. But I did want to focus a minute on, um, I know a lot of you said that you're very interested in seeing my artisan beads. Um, I haven't really had the motivation to do that video yet, although I, I think I'm just trying to perfect things when I should just let the mistakes go where they may. Um, I have several other Zuni bears that are not like this one to f that are finished and they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, um, the thing I don't really love about this pendant is I didn't run a lighter over my resin um, so there's a little bubbles but I actually think it makes it look more rustic um, and I'm so in love with this little guy that and once I saw this pendant I was like oh yep they have to go together they like look so amazing so I need to look at the actual like lore behind Zuni bears but I think they're for protection um, and then one of my um, subscribers mentioned that you know when I said I didn't like bugs but I really like this so I was thinking of it as not a bug um, 
she said, maybe you could think of this pendant protecting you from other bugs. And I'm totally stealing that and going with it. So thank you so much to um, the lady who said that. And um, this pendant can be used one of two ways. I put the beetle going this way, but I think it was intended to go this way. Either way, I think it looks stunning. You could do it this way too if you wanted. Um, I would definitely recommend getting this pendant from Christine White Style. Uh, I kind of want like more, but I need, you know, how many necklaces do I need with a beetle? <laughs> so anyway, this is my favorite uh, piece out of today's uh, finished jewelry update. Please let me know which one's your favorite um, and what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, like I said, I'm going to put some links below to Christine White Style so you can see the beads um, that I used here. And then uh, I hope you like and subscribe and follow me. Um, my links below are for Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day. Hi, Miss Goldie. Hi, cutie. Say hi. Oh, you want a treat? That's a good girl. Say hi, Goldie. Hi. Hello. <laughs>